and math. Today we'll be continuing talking about probability. We will see a few interesting examples on the probability of spinning wheel. Let's talk about the formula. We already talked about the formula many times. Let's talk about it again. So the probability of an event is the number of ways an event can happen over the total possible outcomes. So now let's talk about a few examples. The first example is what is the probability of spinning the spinner landing on heads? So here we have a spinner and the spinner has five heads and five tails and a total of 10 possible outcomes. So what is the probability of the spinner landing on heads? It is going to be five over 10 because there are five total possible outcomes of the spinner landing on heads and 10 total possible outcomes. So let's talk about the second example. The second, the second example is, what is the probability of the spinner landing on nine? So here we have a spinner. The spinner has numbers from one to 10. And so what is the probability of the spinner landing on nine? It is going to be one over 10 because there's only one way the spinner can land on nine and 10 total possible outcomes. Let's talk, let's talk about the last example. So what's the probability of the spinner landing on cycling? So like we said, we have a spinner. The spinner has 11 activities on them. And let's, I'm gonna say a few of those activities. Watching TV, reading, going to a party, or going cycling. So what is the probability of the spinner landing on cy cycling? It is going to be one over 11 because there's one way the spinner can land on cycling and 10 and 11 total possible outcomes. These are three examples of finding the probability of spinning wheel. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.